We'll start, sure. How are things on the injury front looking? Hi, can you repeat, sorry? Uh, injury news, uh, how's it looking? Um, not, nothing really from the last game. Still, um, he said Yop, Adam Atore, Rodrigo and Ty Francois um, out of the, the possibility to be involved in the, in the game. Adam and Rodrigo are already on the pitch with the, with the team as, as the op, but not ready for, for the match. How close are those guys to return? It's been sort of improving week on week, hasn't it, recently? Yes, you have to keep assessing them. Uh, and they are more involved right now. They are, they are much closer. Uh, probably the next few, few games they are going to be. They are going to be to have a chance to be involved, and probably he said the op will take a little bit more, more time than Rodrigo and uh, Adam Atore. Reacting from the weekend, what's been the knock-on from uh, yes a defeat, but an encouraging performance? Yes, definitely. Of course, we we are ambitious enough to don't be just happy with the good performance and the uh, um, good matches. It was a very good Premier League match, I have to say. Um, Probably many didn't expect before the match how, how, how it's going to be um, tough for, for Liverpool. We did uh, well our job, unfortunately. We didn't take what we deserved because I believe that we deserve much more from the game that we, we took. Um, it was clear that the way our players they reacted always from being back twice, one nil and 2-1, and were able to, to respond always well for, for Liverpool. More possession, all that stuff. Normal at Anfield, I have to, to say. But we were capable also to create some problems to them. Um, when you equalise the, the first half, in the end of the first half, the 2-2, two, two, we had some good moments after that, even if we were closer to the half time. And after our second half, was good again. Um, and unfortunately, the last 10 minutes or 8 minutes, we were punished twice and gave them the chance to or we didn't have the chance to, to get the points that probably we, we, we deserve in that, in that game. But as you said, you took positives from the game when you perform in that way, when you are able to win three games, three, when you were able to score three goals at, at Tanfield, um, was probably um, the, the only game this season that you are going to, be, to see goals like they score um, from long long distance and what an amazing goal they, they, they score because not was not that game they created and created and created clear, clear, clear chances was and the way they score goals was it's not something that happened often in football, even with top, top players. Uh, but we took positives from the game. Now is to take all the good things that we 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 did from the next one that is against Nottingham and of course improve things that we, we haven't done so well. It's another three goals. That's six goals now in two games. Do you feel you're turning a corner in terms of scoring goals this season? I hope so. It's a good sign. Of course, we, we considered six as well, and it's not the, the good thing. Uh, we had a conversation this morning about it. Of course, it's a, it's, it is good. It's, I think we are in the moment that we are sharing the, the, the goals for everybody, like it's normal in our, in, in our teams, like it's, it's the way I like really to do it as well. Uh, Six goals, some more chances as well. Scoring from set pieces that is important for us is something that we we like to really to do it because it's something that we work really hard to to achieve it. Players coming from the bench with an impact on the game as well is the second second game in a, in a row. Um, in terms of competitiveness, the squad is a, is a, apart from the injuries that we we had that they are always not good for us. I think we are in a good moment in terms of competitiveness as well and in terms of goals. Of course, if uh, in set seven days too much as we score six is, is always a good sign and let's hope we can score tomorrow. In terms of consistency, can you put your finger on why that's been lacking this season and how you turn that around? Okay, we had some some games probably that we we deserve much more and in the last minutes, okay, but it's football. We won in the last minutes the game against Wolves as well and now it was the opposite. Uh, but some games that uh, that we, we lost points in the last minutes of the game where you deserve much more. Man United at home is a very good example. Clearly we are the team that deserve um, the points in, the, in that game and it didn't take anything. Of course Liverpool match was different but even so we deserve much more than we, we, we took. Um, this type of things, emotional control during the, the 100 minutes right now, not just the 90. Um, to get more consistent in terms of results and performance, that is the, the main thing. I believe that right now you are more more capable to do it. It's part of the press, the process. The, 
the first two, three months for us in terms of preparation season and the um, start of Premier League, they were really tough for us and they were really strange. Of course, um, we expected the level that you are showing now, we expect it a bit early during the season, but okay, you are on time and you are you have to keep the, giving the right steps to, to be more consistent. This is what I want, is what we what we are demanding from each other to be more consistent inside the, the, the pitch. Um, because with consistency will come in the performance will come the good results too. And as we head towards January, where would you like to strengthen in that window? It's not the moment to talk about it. Of course, I think every every club is going to try to and look ahead to try to strengthen the squad, to try to, to improve. And we is our case as well. We are we, we are on it, we cannot stand still. But it's not the moment to talk about it. We, we we have the players that we have, we are happy with them, we want to, to improve as always, yes, definitely. But now is the moment for us to so don't think anything more than playing three in three days. Um, it's going to be like that. You just finished the Liverpool match. Or looks like you just finished the Liverpool match and you are talking around right now to talk about Nottingham Forest. It's going to be the same after um, for West Ham. Uh, no time to talk behind the scenes. We have to do our job and we are doing. On Forest then, um, three defeats in a row for them. Is this an opportunity for you to maybe take advantage of lack of confidence that they might be going through? We we really know what what they are they are feeling. Of course, uh, we before the the Wolves match we had back to back defeats, not three in, in a row. But we know what not good results can the impact can have in a in a, in a football team. Even if you have quality, even if you um, you know what you are capable to do, even if it's clear what we want to do, um, the confidence plays plays always a big a big part on on, on a performance and in the results. But at the same time, we know. That can take some confidence for them, from them, but at the same time can give that the will to uh, the desire to react and to, to show a reaction. You have always the two, two parts in uh, of the, the the coin, and uh, I really believe that they came here to react. They wanted to react. Of course, in terms of confidence, probably they are not in that um, level. If you are winning football match in, in a row, but I think any team in this in this league knows that it's not easy to. To keep the consistency in, in terms of uh, winning ways, and sometimes come the um, the bad results, and we have to react. And for sure, they are going to try to do it because they have quality. And Steve Cooper is under a bit of pressure. Are you surprised by that, given where Forest have come from and, and where they are, albeit six points clear of the drop zone at the moment? Firstly, I don't know if he's under pressure. That is the, the, the thing. Um, I really don't know. Of course, and the pressure is 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 always year round, you know, because uh, you know results they speak really louder in this in this competition today in football in, in, in this business now is always like like that. I think I, I think now I'm sure Steve and all the managers at, at the level that we are, um, we are more than capable to to handle this situation and to understand what is important, and what is important is always is for you to control what we can, and what you can control is your team, your players, and. Uh, and all that stuff, and for sure he's war. He, he has all the focus. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Hi. Um, Robertson got an upper assist in the round. He's third for the Premier League. He had a really good international break. He seemed to be progressing every single time he plays. Is there anything you're doing and working on with him to get these consistent performances? With who? Robertson. Ah. <laughs> Robertson. No, uh, firstly, to, to talk about his last performance was. Great, great, great. What a performance from him. Individual point of view was at very high, high level. Um, not just because he made an assist. Um, it's something that he knows that I demand more from him. And uh, um, last season, for example, we had a, he had a great season. But in terms of end product, was not at, at the level that should be. A player that arrived and has the capacity, of course, the way you play, provide him as well, but has the capacity to arrive in certain areas and he, he does it so often that connection between him and William in our left hand side is so works so so well in some moments, of course arriving in certain areas, the end product should be much better. And it's something that we are working with him, you are demanding from him, we're even trying to give the tools for him to, to improve. And nice to see him. Um, two games in a row to assist. Uh, but overall this game was top level because he was always I have to say, in the right position in almost the 95 or 98 or under minutes that we, 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 we did play against at Anfield because in defensive point of view, he was really well set up, uh, always 
more narrow and like we like to see him. Because after he has the capacity, he has the braveness and the courage to, to face the 1v1 situations. And he, he did it really well, I have to say, and it was a top performance from him. Please for him, because um, some games uh, before it, he probably wasn't the best. And it's nice to see him reacting the way he did. Okay, firstly, the, the, I have to say the sadness and the, the, how we were so angry in the dressing room in the end of the match. You have to take all that things to put in the same box with the positives that we did, we, we did and to give us more will and desire for the next match. That is the, the, the first thing. We, we don't like to, to, to feel good with defeats. I don't like. My face speaks for myself most of the times about that situation. But in some moments, we have to to understand the games that we are playing, all that stuff. Uh, I know that um, last week um, was almost five days, everybody speaking about the referee from uh, Fulham uh, Wolves, all, a lot of noise around, all that stuff. I understand three penalties in the second half, all that situation, but was all the week talking about that moment. My pre-match conference for Liverpool match again came that situation. Today, until now, no one asked me about the fourth goal of Liverpool. I understand that is Liverpool. I understand that is Liverpool and Fulham. I understand all situations. But speaks about the, the, the business of this football as well. Because, okay, I didn't mention, I don't want to talk about this situation, but it should be the same because no one asked me. And for me, the fourth goal from Liverpool is a clear fall on, on, on Bobby, on Bobby Reid. Uh, and no one speaks, probably the noise is not, because probably game is Sunday and after Wednesday is too quick the games, no one talk about the situation. So if, if, what, if it was the opposite, for sure, he's going to have conversation here about the situation, questions for me. Uh, but about the, the good things that we take from that game, for sure, we, we took it. As I said, the, the desire to go again and to react from a defeat with the many positives that we, we took from that game has to be in tomorrow's match again against a, a good side that, as I said before, is going to try to react and to, to get a good result here at, at Cottage. And Forest have only won one game away from home this season. Uh, how big of an advantage do you think the home crowd can actually play this game? I hope, I hope really that the, the, the Cottage is going to, to be buzzing because we need it. We need a crowd behind us. We need them from the first minute. Uh, because can play a big part and uh, it's, it's easy to understand how, in my opinion, how, for example, after the, the at Anfield, we were playing at Anfield and we, we scored a 3-2, we, we were celebrating the goal and uh, the first thing that I, st okay, apart from our fans, they were, of course, over the moon because it was not just the 3-2, was a very great team goal, the way we build up that goal was uh, at very, very good level, but I started from that moment to feel the stadium pushing again. I started to list everybody pushing for Liverpool, even if we considered 3 2. And of course, makes the difference, I'm sure. And the, the, the fans, they, they, they have to understand that this type of reaction from the fans, even if you are unhappy with the third goal, even if he's not okay, you are unhappy, but let's push the guys forward again. Let, let's push them to try to be in the front foot because you have more time to, you have enough time to, to, think, to turn the things again. And, it's a good example, to be honest. The, the reaction from the the Anfield crowd in the, the our third goal um, was um, a top example how should be always the behave. Um, in a tough moment, the, the, the way team scored the third goal and they react straight away as a, as a crowd. And of course, after the third 3-3 three, three and 4-3, of course, they did well what they, they should do. They celebrated. Uh, for tomorrow match, I hope our fans behind the team from the first moment. If something doesn't come like we want in the first minutes, um, to keep always behind us, to push the, the, the players forward because 100% sure the players they are going to give their 100% to win the match. Thank you. Can I just, just pick up on the, <laughs> on the Bobby Reid? <laughs> <laughs> no, right, he's already. Well, is it just another example though of VAR? Being inconsistent this season. No, but I sorry, I disagree because for me it's not a VAR call. No, no, because for me it's not a VAR call. Um, is is a mistake from the, the the referee in that moment. Is a is a clear fall, but as we all know, the protocol says there has to be something 
clear and obvious mistake from, from the referee. It's a mistake from the referee. Um, clear fall on, on, on Robby. I, I really, that is a difficult call for VAR to, to turn that, that decision for, from the, the, the referee. Have you spoken with the referee or the officials? I said to him in the end of the match, what is my, was my feeling? That was a, a set away after the match. I, I, I wasn't with him in the dressing room, just clear in the end of the match, just to give my feedback for him. That was a, a clear fall on Bobby Reed. He told me that he, he didn't see in that way. Is that an example where the home big club like Liverpool at home get the rub of the green, do you I feel? think yes, yeah, I think yes. But it's, 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 it's normal in football. I, at the end of the season is what I hope that I said last week here. I hope that he's, he, he's getting to be the, the right balance between um, all the teams is what everyone expects. The mistake they are going to be in the, on a match day. Unfortunately, because all of us, we are human beings. Some, some things from the VR, of course, everyone expected to be almost 100% perfect. But sometimes it's not easy to. But at the end of the season, what we hope that everything is going to be balanced for any team in this league. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks again. That's the broadcast section for Vader. Yes, please.